What's up, everybody? Today, uh, another windy April day in New Jersey, but we're not going to let that wind and rain uh, stop us from fishing. Um, today, I figured it'd be a perfect day to head out to the lake, and I'm going to show you an easy way to catch trout without having to buy any bait at the bait store. Um, we're going to use canned corn to catch trout, so let me go find a can of corn, and I'll explain what we're about to do. All right, let's go look for some bait. So let's see what we got. Uh, diced carrots, no. Pull that out. Crushed tomatoes, no thank you. Chicken broth, no. Ah, there we go. That's the stuff right there. Whole kernel, golden corn. We're about to take this can and turn it into some trout. All right, so for today's trip, we're going to keep it so simple. <clears throat> we don't even got to hit a bait store. You know, all the supplies I need for today's trip, I already have uh, in my house currently. Um, like I said earlier, we're going to try and use this corn. Uh, doesn't have to be the no salt added. I was just, you know, hoping to keep the trout's blood pressure from rising, I guess. But uh, uh, corn is all we're going to be using. Now, I will have a rod rigged up with uh, a trout magnet, you know, just take a few casts here and there because I do like fishing that suspended jig but primarily I'll be going just a piece of corn now <clears throat> in my previous uh, videos for trout I was using size uh, eight hooks by Eagle Claw now they're bait holders I'm gonna just pull one out really quick now just looking at this hook it is a just a regular bait holder hook and um, I'm not going to use these because I'm going to be catching and releasing. I'm not going to be keeping them. Uh, with these, you know, bait holder style hooks, um, fish tend to swallow the hook, and I don't want to gut hook any of these fish. Um, so what I'm going to be actually trying is a Gamagatsu single egg hook. Um, the package that I bought didn't have a size. It, it literally just called single egg. Um, but... If you put it in comparison to the bait holder hook that I've been using for, oh, let me spin that around. They're so light. Um, compared to that size hook, they're about similar. So I guess you would say it's, you know, between an eight and a 10. Um, now, why I'm trying this Gamagatsu uh, octopus hook is they're designed for, you know, corner of the mouth hookups. And I'm hoping to, you know, see if that is evident with these because um, I am going to be releasing all the fish that I catch today. If I do gut hook a fish, I'm going to keep it, but I really don't want to, <clears throat> you know, kill some innocent fish for no reason, uh, considering I'm not really going to be eating them right now. Um, all right, so for today's rig, all we're using is regular four-pound test mono. Um, the lighter the line, the better for this type of fishing. And then we're just going to use a single um, single egg hook and then about 12 inches a liter and then we're tying it straight to the Power Pro. Now, um, it's very simple. What I'm going to be doing is just putting a piece of corn on, pitching it out as far as I can, which is you know pretty hard because it's very light. But I am using my ultralight setup, so I should be able to get at least you know 10 yards away from me. And then I'm going to let it sink to the bottom. Um, this style of fishing, usually you get hits right away. You do need a little bit of slack in your line so that you, you get the right hook set. But uh, I'm really curious to see if these hooks actually will get that hook set. I do use this hook in a size 4 for my perch and striper rigs. And it seems to hook them either in the top jaw or in the side corner of the mouth every time. So I'm hoping that's uh, going to hold true for trout. All right, so we're heading to the first spot. Um, good news is I see one guy. Um, I'm not sure how long he's been here or how long he's actually going to be fishing, but hopefully, uh, you know, it won't be too many people out on the lake today. Um, so I'd like to get on some trout, you know, but plenty of lake to fish, you know. Rule of thumb, if you see somebody fishing, you know, try, unless you're friends with them, try not to jump on top of them. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've been out, you know, fishing on this lake. And, you know, it's it's a pretty big lake. I'm not, I'm not sure how big. I'll post it, uh, you know, I'll look it up how big it is. But 
I honestly have been to spots where literally the entire lake's wide open and somebody will pull up and literally jump right on top of me. It's like, come on, man. Like they act like, you know, the entire lake's unfishable other than the one spot. Now, I don't know how you, you guys are, but I try and avoid people if I can, just because, you know, there's plenty of fish to go around. And in this type of time, people are a little antsy and anxious, I guess you'll say. So, you know, rule of thumb, don't jump on top of somebody. So we're gonna start out, you know, maybe over here where I know there's nobody fishing, see if we So what I'm doing, I'm just threading a corn piece of corn on like that and just letting it free line out. I have no weight right now. So let's pitch this bad boy out. Ooh. Got him. Spunky little one. Oh, always put like the hands. Whoa. All right, let's get this guy off the hook. Look at that perfect hook in the side of the jaw. No mortality here. Let him go. What I'm actually looking at when I cast, I'm not looking at uh, my rod tip. I'm actually looking at the loose line that's coming off the tip of the rod because um, it's so light that you can see the line floating on the water and you can slowly see when a fish is taking it. Um, there we go, fish on. Let's go. With the hand. All right. Why? Oh, look at that easy release. I was going to say, why I moved to these Gamagatsu little octopus hooks is 99% of the time I'm hooking them in the side of the jaw. And right now I'm not keeping them, so I don't want to gut hook them. Um, and I don't want to kill them. But these hooks work perfectly for that. All right, got it right there. See if we can get something to take it. There we go, fish on. Let's go. Look at that. Now my hands are already wet. Oh, look how easy that guy came off the hook. Easy release, baby. Out in the honey hole, see if something will come and pick it up as it's falling. Now with this type of fishing, you're gonna do a lot of casting, honestly, because once it hits the bottom, I reel it in, try again. Um, it's just the free falling corn that I see, think, oh, see something pulling at it. Oh, missed them. That free falling corn is really easy to fish because I'm pitching it out. I'm letting it slowly sink and the trout see it coming from the surface and they pick it up. Now they will eat it off the bottom, but uh, for the amount of time I have today, I'm just going to be pitching it out and let it sink. Oops, see something's pulling. There we go. Fish on. Look at that. Now, I'm gonna try and actually get a piece of this one. Now, I've been easily releasing them by pulling weight on the hook. They have very soft jaws, so I'm not trying to hurt the fish. I'm gonna just grab this guy right here. There we go. Oop, he's a little bit slimier than I remembered. Ugh. Oop, man. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. Oh, off he goes. Yep, he's swimming. Don't don't play dead for YouTube. Effective ways you could fish for trout. Um, you can catch a ton of fish this way. I just like doing it because it's just today's a you know a day where I couldn't get out on my boat because it is literally windy as can be. You can't really tell from this lake because the the woods shelter uh, the wind pretty well. But um, trying to make the most of my day. Fish. Oh, missed them. Look at that. Now, why I like this weather is I'm out here by myself right now because it just started rain, so I think that's kind of keeping people away today. I did see one other uh, fisherman this morning, but he left as soon as it started raining, so kind of made it a little bit easy on me. Let me get this back out there.
fish on. Let's go. Look at that. Whoa. Man, these things are really acrobatic. It's crazy how much they'll jump. Now, uh, I should have brought my rod. I think I have my rod holder in my bucket because I don't like holding my rod with my legs. But look, again, another perfect hook. I'm not trying to brag, but that type of hook set's not going to kill this fish. You know what I mean? We can safely release him and let someone else catch him as he swims away. Now, I just put my little rod holder in the water there. That way, if we get another one, all I have to do is put my rod down and I can actually safely handle the fish without, you know, pulling it out of the water or at least pulling it too far out of the water. Um, you know, if I were keeping these fish, it'd be one thing to just, you know, grab them and pull them out. But, you know, I'm trying to let other people catch them. I mean, during a time like this, you know, a lot of people have been getting out fishing just to, you know, get out of their houses. And, you know, I don't want to be greedy. I, I've had enough fish, you know, recently that I don't need to keep these guys. Fish on. Let's go. Got him. That's a bigger one. <clears throat> not not a crazy crazy big, but it's bigger. So we got the rod in the holder. We're just gonna bring this bad boy right here. Yeah, oh yeah, that's not a bad size one. Look at that. And look again, hooked in the side jaw. I mean, geez, this guy's gonna at least live a little longer. I actually want to take a picture of that real quick. Alright, let's just get this hook out and let him go back in the water so he could go swim with his buddies. And there he goes. That wasn't a bad sized fish to be honest with you. But I'm not keeping him today. Let him live another day. So uh, this type of fishing, honestly, you can't get any cheaper than this. I mean, a can of corn runs, you know, 50 cents where I'm from. Um, and that'll last you. I mean. I'm pretty sure I would have had my limit if I was keeping them. I mean, you could have just caught a, a limit of trout <clears throat> on, you know, 50 cents worth of bait and maybe, uh, I don't know, the hooks, the hooks in line probably are about, well, the hooks themselves are about $3 a pack. But, I mean, that's a pretty cheap fishing, you know what I mean? I'm not out here buying tons of bait and lures and rigs. You know, man, rain's starting to come down a little hard. But that ain't gonna stop the fishing. Let's go fish on. All right. Put the rod in the holder. Grab this bad boy in here. And look at that one. That one's hooked right on the top of the nose. Not a bad hook set. You know what I mean? That, that ain't gonna kill him. All right, off you go. All right, we're gonna try and get the um, trap magnet out there. Ooh, so used to casting just a light uh, piece of corn. That kind of went a little further than I want. So what I'm gonna do is suspend jig it, meaning I'm jigging it about six inches off the surface. Um, hoping this might produce a bigger fish. Biggest fish I had today was probably 12 inches. Oh, there's a hit. Um, I know them bigger fish like the bigger baits. Yep, something just hit it but dropped it. Fish on. Trout magnet, man. Uh, we're gonna let this little guy go. 
off he goes. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, as always, thank you for all the support. Uh, finally hit that 1K uh, subscriber last night, so super pumped about that. Thank you again. Uh, stay tuned because I am going to be putting out details about the giveaway uh, later today. So, as always, if you like the video, comment down below. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the page. Have a great day.